And that's it, you have a headband, congratulations. Just kidding. Oh, it's so fun, I love this, you guys. Hey guys, I'm Danielle Sulo, deputy editor at Seventeen, and today we are making DIY pearl headbands. I think that headbands solve everything from having a bad hair day, throw in a headband. If my hair is a little dirty because I didn't feel like washing it, throw in a headband. If I want have a boring outfit on and I want to make it look cuter, throw in a headband. Headbands can fix and make everything look so much cuter, so much more put together, so I'm excited for us to make these. I am most obsessed with these pearl headbands. They're so cute, they're so fun, and naturally I need to figure out how I can just do it myself because they can get a little pricey, so I figured let me try this out, and I did, and I am obsessed. So here's how we're gonna do it. You need fabric, little pearl gems you can accessorize, fabric cutting scissors, plastic headband, and hot glue and a hot glue gun. So first up is we're gonna take our fabric and we're gonna cut it into a strip, and then what we'll do is we'll fold it around. So I don't have a ruler, so I just take a book and I make a little line. I said you can use any kind of scissors for this, you totally can, but oh my God, fabric scissors, the way that they cut into fabric, whew, beautiful, so smooth, great, highly recommend. Now, next part, this is when you need your hot glue gun, but you'll take your slice and you're going to hot glue it like this, so you're gonna fold it so that the edges meet, and then you're going to basically have one thin band. You do not wanna glue the hot the ends, you're gonna keep those ends open, so then you can slide that into the headband. I like to do just a little bit at a time. I'm incapable of using a hot glue gun and not having hot glue just like all over my hands afterwards, but that's okay. So you're just gonna basically hot glue gun it shut. And I think that the secret with hot glue is like less is more. I mean, I think that's like the secret in life, like less is always more. Well, not always, but yeah. I would say like, you don't want it to be super, super globby so that when you actually like close it shut, that there's like just like hot glue like coming out from the sides. You want it to be just the right amount. And once we put this on the headband, we're gonna do a little bit more securing with the hot glue gun, so it's like totally fine if it's not super, super tight right now. Okay, so you wanna let that cool for like a minute, 30 seconds at least. And that's it, you have a headband, congratulations. Just kidding, that's what it looks like. It looks like you have a slap bracelet. So once that's dried, you're gonna take your plastic headband, I got these on Amazon. I got a pack of 50, and I know you and your birthday's coming up. You're probably getting a headband from me. Congratulations, it'll be a Danielle Tulo original. You're gonna love it, it'll be so stylish. You're gonna want to get all the selfies in it. But yeah, I got a pack of these for $9 on Amazon. Um, so I basically am never buying a headband ever again. I'm just exclusively making my own. Here we go, take this, slide it in. Totally fine that your ends are, are out like that right now. Don't worry about it. Um, if you buy a headband from the store, you probably notice that your headbands like always have different ends. Like the ends are usually like maybe black material or whatever. So don't worry about that just right now. I'm gonna just fine tune and make sure anywhere that needs hot glue, the ends are all nice and secure. I feel like it's like a nice like flex where you're like, oh, you like my headband? Actually, I made it, thank you. Hot glue all over my fingers, my hands, but that is the price we pay for DIYing. Everything's looking pretty secure, so congratulations, you have a headband. You can totally just put a bunch of pearls on this, call it a day, done, but obviously the knot headband trend is very in, and I love that look. I love that way it kind of just like adds a little bit of something, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that. I'm going to now take this, and I'm just gonna cut up a little piece of it. Such a good cut. These are great. Have you guys used these before? These are such legit scissors. I'm gonna take my newly sliced up piece of fabric and I'm going to wrap it around this headband. So 
There are a ton of ways that you could do this. I've seen so many different versions online. This is the one that for me works the best. I find it the easiest because I love to DIY, but I am not a DIY queen. I'm not super, super, super crafty. So I feel like if you're like, oh, I like to learn how to do things myself, but I'm not a pro, like this is a great way to do it. I wrap around the center of the headband. Okay. And then I'm going to truly just make a knot. Good old fashioned knot. We all have different methods here, but I wrap it around and then bring it through like this. Cut off my excess pieces. And then I just glue them. So now you have a nice little top knot. Again, I like mine to look a little bit messier. Like I think that that's cuter than having just a super tight, clean knot. I don't know, I feel like messy, cool buns are in, like messy knots, like a little bit more natural. So it's not super, super perfect, but it still looks really cute. Yay! Okay, you're not done yet though. Now is the fun part where you get to add all the pearls in. Okay, it's pearl time. I have two different types of pearls that I got. Um, I got them both on Amazon, and these ones are cool because they have a flat back. You can glue them really easily, and you don't have to worry about them falling off. Those are great, they're really fun. I actually like to use these on scrunchies. That's a fun thing to do, is to like jewel up my scrunchies. I love to do that with these. Then these are the ones that I like to use a lot. They're just full on like, pearl beads and so it's really fun because they're just very very dramatic and I love the drama. There's no rules here like just wherever you want to put these you put them like do your thing. Oh, it's so fun. I love this you guys. Very important if you make this and you're like I look amazing which obviously you're gonna look amazing you have to take selfies and you have to tag me in it at Danielle Tulo and you know maybe we'll even throw it up on Instagram. You can add enough pearls, honestly, like go ham on these. I think that you just want a lot because otherwise it looks like you kind of forgot areas or whatever. So I would say like you can't do enough when it comes to this. A lot of ones that I buy from the store, they all have the same exact pearl. Um, I actually like to do ones that are bigger, smaller, because I think that it looks cool. So once I'm like in a decent spot, I kind of just do a little check to see where do I need any more or some missing. My little trick, I like to have at least them one touching another. So like, I don't like to have too much empty space. So as long as one is touching the other, there's kind of like a nice flow. Now I'm just gonna kind of analyze and add some to the knot. Beads everywhere, I spill everything. I'm gonna be finding pearls in my house for the next like, months, months, year maybe, because I definitely lost some along the way. So pretty. Okay, we are almost ready with our headband. Ah, you guys, it's so freaking good. Last part, super easy. Now I just wanna cover these up, so you just need a little piece of fabric. I'm just not even gonna take my textbook out. I am just going to wing it, let's see. Not bad. And I'm basically just going to wrap the ends. So this is the part that's behind your ears. So like you can't really see it. Um, I like to make them a little bit more fluffy because I hate uncomfortable headbands. I love headbands. I like to wear them all day. And then if you have to take it out and then you just have like weird like headband hair and so I like to keep mine in as long as possible and so really like this like aesthetic side like doesn't matter to me I just want it to be comfortable okay you guys that is it I just made a really cute DIY headband and I'm obsessed with her she's so cute she's so fun and it's time to try her on you guys it looks so good yay Oh, I'm so happy with it. This is the best DIY ever. I love headbands so much that I have a headband holder. That is right, this is real. I have more than one of these in my closet. I just can't help it. I'm obsessed with headbands. So 
having them next to the ones that I've bought at the store, like this is the one I made, this is from the store that I bought in my town. And I mean, you guys, it's kind of amazing. Like this is, this looks legit and I made it. So I can't wait to wear it all the time. And I think that you need to get some fabric, hot glue gun, scissors, and make your own headband immediately because it is such a good DIY. Yeah, this is the real deal. I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna go take a million selfies because I mean, this headband is just asking for that. Uh, while I do that, like, subscribe, comment, and let me know what you wanna see next time on DIY with Danielle. Bye.